I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. Hey y'all, it's Kate from The Literary Apothecary and you guys, I'm back for another weekly re bi-weekly reading vlog. I'm sorry I haven't checked in in forever. Life has been crazy. Last week in just three days, I did 12 hours of overtime and then I got home Saturday afternoon and I was so exhausted. I took a nap for the first time in a year. I usually am not very good at taking naps. My body, no matter how exhausted it feels, as soon as I lay down to take one, it usually wakes up. Saturday, I took like a three, four hour nap and it was amazing. So I'm checking in now on what has happened in this past week because I didn't get to check in at all last week. Um, before we go any further, technically this is the bi-weekly reading vlog for the week of September 25th to October 8th. So first and foremost, let me say hello and thank you to some of our new subscribers. We've got Ula La French Girl, World of Sleuths, K Silky One, and Angela Gray. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. It really means the world to me because without you guys, I'd just be sitting here talking to myself and that's kind of silly. So thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. Um, one quick announcement this Saturday. So by the time you're seeing this, if you're watching day of release, um, in the afternoon, I believe it's 1 PM Eastern time. I will be having a live show with Jim Wilborn, the author of the seventh cadence. I can't wait. So y'all need to tune in for that live show. Um, and I will link that link down in the description below books that I finished this week. This last week include the Great Gatsby graphic novel. I absolutely loved seeing The Great Gatsby in graphic novel form. I thought it was a fantastic adaptation of this classic. I gave it five out of five stars and I've actually done a bibliotherapy video on it this past Sunday. So I will link that down in the description below too. And then the other book that I finished last week was Beloved by Toni Morrison, another one of my favorite classics. And this book just is incredible. Toni Morrison has such a way with words that is just leaves you breathless. Um, of course, five out of five stars for Toni Morrison and I will have a review coming for that this coming weekend. Um, books that I am reading this week include finishing up House of Salt and Sorrows, hopefully, so we can get that live show scheduled. Um, of Mice and Men, which I started when I shouldn't have, um, technically, I started the Monday, the morning of October 1st because my ebook loan came through from the library on that. Um, continuing on with our Lord John Grace series, Lord John and the Brotherhood of the Blade. Um, another book that I shouldn't have started, but I did because the library loan for the audiobook came through. That's Razorblade Tears by S.A. Cosby. I am really enjoying that one so far. And of course, our Harry Potter Illustrated Edition book of the month. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Those are the books I'll be reading this week. Hopefully I can get some more done um, by the time I have to put this up on Saturday. And I'll check in with y'all again very soon. Thank you for your patience and I love you. Hey y'all, so one last check in for this week, these past two weeks, I guess now. Um, every time I've tried to film this today, I sit down to film and the landscapers go through. So I'm going to try to get this done as quickly as I can. And I'm sorry if you hear them in the background. They've been just going nonstop. I'm like, dudes, it's fall. The leaves are going to fall. You can only blow them around so much. Anyways, let's get back to my last check-in for this week. So first and foremost, before I forget, last time I had a weekly check-in, I said I would give away my extra copy of A Natural History of Dragon to uh, one of you out there who has told me what their favorite read so far of this year is. I spun the wheel and I'll put the picture up there, the screenshot up there. Angela McAllister is the winner. Congratulations, Angela. Angela has been a subscriber of mine for a long time now. She's great. She's always commenting on my videos and I love looking for her comments. So congratulations, Angela. Um, if you send me your address in this email that I have up here. Um, I will get that out to you as soon as I can. So congratulations on that. Um, now, so with that said, that's a great tie in to saying hello and thank you to some more new subscribers. We have Melissa Milligan. That name is really fun to say. Um, 
Welcome, Melissa. Thank you for subscribing. I hope that you enjoy everything you see here. Um, it means the world to me that you guys, you've subscribed. So thank you, thank you, thank you. One last announcement. Tomorrow, Saturday, October 8th, by the time you see this, it'll be the same day or have already passed. I'm having a live show with Jim Wilborn, author of The Seventh Cadence, and he's got a new novella coming out towards the end of this month called The Strangers in a Promised Land. Um, I can't wait to read that. We're gonna have a live show where we're celebrating the anniversary of Seventh Cadence, talking about the new novella, and we're gonna have some giveaways for the new novella. So y'all better stay tuned tomorrow 1 p.m. Saturday, um, October 8th. I'll put the link down in the description below. Okay, now on to the books that I finished. Um, I do not remember if I've checked in about this book or not, but I finished Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. This was a reread for me, and I gave this five out of five stars. It's still a favorite of mine, still a classic favorite. I absolutely love that book so much. And the same parts still get me every time. Yesterday, I binged the last half of House of Salt and Sorrows. Y'all, this book was so good. When I first started reading it, I was like, okay, this is a little bit of a slow start, but we'll give it a chance. Once it got going, y'all, it was nonstop. That ending, that last half of the book was just go, 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 go. I did not predict anything that happened. I suspected everyone it was insane i gave it five out of five stars it's a new favorite read of this year for me we've got fantasy you got spooky you got horror you got a little bit of romance and like i said i never saw any of the twists coming so five out of five stars for house salt and sarah by aaron a craig now on to the books that i'm reading this weekend going into next week probably uh, Lord John and the Brotherhood of the Blade, still going strong on that. Razorblade Tears, still going strong on that. That one might be the first one that I finish coming up. Um, Guns of the Dawn, I just started when I finished House of Salt and Sorrows. I'm very, very early in this. This is only, I'm only like two chapters in, but I'm enjoying the writing prose of Adrian Tchaikovsky in this book. Um, and that is a buddy read with Stacy and Channing and one of Alan's favorite books, so I can't wait. Um, still going through with Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the illustrated edition, which I'm buddy reading with Leslie at the Nerdy Narratives and some few other folks on my Discord. Um, and Lord Jim by Joseph Conrad, which I'm buddy reading with my very good friend Chrissy at Chrissy Lewis Dorsevsky in Space. So, that's it for now. Um, oh, one last thing because, you know, I'm scatterbrained today trying to get everything in. I'm trying a new thing out where every Friday I'm going to have a short come out, which is just a 60 second review of a book that I've read. Um, this week was the first one with Jade Legacy. I will also link that down in the description below. It's just something fun I'm trying out. YouTube has these new shorts that they've come out with this where you can do 60 second videos and apparently they're really popular. So I thought, why not give it a shot? So if you take a look at that, let me know what you think in the comments. Now that's it for now. Um, I'm gonna go and read some because my boss gave us the rest of the afternoon off. Um, as always, my Patreon and my Discord information will be in the description below. Keep reading and I love y'all to the moon and back. Bye.